Lebanon headed to the polls today, and the world is rife with fear that the Hezbollah terror group, which doubles as a political party, will become so powerful as to become the de jure rulers of Lebanon. Shalom to Dr. Moti Kedar, expert on the Arab world from Bar Ilan University. Thank you very much. So why are these elections considered so crucial? Well, this is the first time that uh, in Lebanon there are elections in which uh, those who are backed by Iran, the Iranian money, the Iranian uh, weapons and, and so forth, uh, are about to take over the state by a majority in the parliament. And this is for the first time in the Lebanese history, in the modern Lebanese history. So if this happens, uh, Iran will take over Lebanon as the Arab a tentacle of the Iranian octopus. Now tell me, what sort of effect will be felt in Israel by the results of the elections? The situation on the ground will not be uh, dramatically different because today already uh, Hezbollah uh, has his missiles, has his weapons, and uh, uh, it holds to itself the ability and the authority to declare war on Israel, to launch missiles as much as it wants. So it, now it will be from the government. Before it was not, it was not from the government, but the, actually it, it won't be dramatically different. The, the situation with our world might be different because what happened, if it happens in Lebanon, is that the worst nightmare of the Arab world happens, that the, at the uh, uh, echelons, the lower echelons of society are taking the state. Uh, this is a nightmare for the regimes in Egypt, in Saudi Arabia, in, in Jordan, in North Africa, all the states. So if this happens, Israel is the block in front of Hezbollah to take over uh, the southern part of the Arab world. Uh, and it might create some kind of cooperation between the state of Israel and those Arab uh, regimes in order to stop Hezbollah or to stop Iran from continuing its march over the Arab world. And how can what's happening in Lebanon be compared to the Hamas victory in the Gaza Strip? And, and, and don't forget that what happened in Gaza with Hamas is almost the same thing, uh, where Islamic group it took over a whole area and maybe it has already a state, and uh, the Egyptian regime doesn't like it, and other regimes do not like it, because uh, it might give all kinds of ideas to their own local Islamists to do the same. The uh, success of Hezbollah will even pour more oil on that fire. Okay, now what about Syria and Iran? Are they influencing these elections? Uh, Syria... Has, doesn't have much to say these days because the Hezbollah genie came out of the bottle a long time ago. And today the uh, Hezbollah in Lebanon have their own agenda. I'm not so sure that, that uh, uh, Syria or the Syrian regime would like to see a fundamentalist Islamic regime in Lebanon. After all, uh, the regime in, in Syria is rather secular. Uh, they didn't mean uh, that when they supported Hezbollah for years. But Hezbollah has its own agenda, much closer to Iran than to Syria. Mm -hmm. uh, lately, Syria recognized the, uh, uh, the independence of Lebanon by opening a, an embassy in Beirut. And a week ago, a, a, an ambassador, a Syrian ambassador, was nominated uh, to Lebanon, to Beirut. This also has significance. Uh, for, the develop, for the developments between these two states. Now, Dr. Kedar, how do you explain the fact that the public in Lebanon is not kicking Nasrallah out, especially after suffering during the Second Lebanon War? Those who backed Hezbollah those days back him today even uh, more uh, than, than before. Those who opposed uh, Hezbollah at the war oppose Hezbollah uh, these days as well. So. Uh, what happened during the, nine, the 2006 war only strengthened the uh, viewpoints. They didn't change uh, the viewpoints. Now about the reports that Hezbollah is responsible for the assassination of uh, the Lebanese Prime Minister Rafiq Hariri, 
What sort of influence will these have on the Lebanese voter? Uh, many in Lebanon are sure that uh, these, uh, uh, informa this information which, was, which came out from the International Court uh, was meant to undermine the chances of Hezbollah in these elections. This is why many who support Hezbollah even support Hezbollah uh, uh, even uh, much in a harsher way these days only because of this leaking of information. So let's end uh, with trying to understand the system in Lebanon. Please explain to us the complex, some may say a racist electoral system in Lebanon, according to which the number of members of parliament is tied to each ethnic and religious group. This is also known as confessionalism. Well, the intention from the beginning was to create a system where the player will be the community. This is why everyone in Lebanon elects for his, on, only for his community. It means Christians are electing for the Christian candidates, Shi'i are voting for the uh, uh, Shi'i candidates and so forth. Uh, what happened during the at least last 20 years is that the community is in the parliament and divided and uh, forged new coalitions and today you see coalition which is Hezbollah coalition, which is Shi'is, uh, Sunnis, uh, Druze and Christians on one side and on the other side you can see a coalition against Hezbollah which also is made of Christians, Sunnis, uh, Druze and Shiites as well. So today the player is the ideology whether you support Hezbollah or not and apparently what will happen today is that the majority of the parliament will be taken by those parliament members who support Hezbollah and Hezbollah demands maybe also to change the, uh, the constitution in Lebanon. If this happens, Lebanon would be something else, something different, totally different from what it was until today. Dr. Kedar, thank you very much for joining us. You're welcome.